Hey guys, welcome to the Wild Side, and this week we are in the Amazon Rainforest with a conservation group dedicated to saving a freshwater marine mammal. So let's swim on the Wild Side this week. with the Amazon River Dolphin Conservation Foundation talking about the Amazon River Dolphin, also known as the Pink River Dolphin, also known as the Boto to the locals in South America. Now you can find the Amazon River Dolphin in countries like Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia. These animals spend their entire life in the fresh waters of the Amazon. You have to think about it. The Amazon jungle floods and the dolphins can go in and out through the trees, through the leaves, through the branches. They actually can swim through the Amazon rainforest. And what do these animals eat? Well, they eat over 40 different species of fish found in the Amazon, including the red-bellied piranha. But unlike other dolphin species, they actually have cone-shaped teeth towards the front of their mouth and then molars in the back of their mouth. So they'll catch a prey item like a fish. They'll also eat crustaceans and turtles. And then they'll use the molars to crush down the food and then swallow it whole. But just like dolphins, they can use their echolocation to find food, but unlike the bottlenose dolphins, they have a hair like uh, feelers on the top rostrum and the lower rostrum, so they can go zoom in through the Amazon to feel for their food and then eat it. You gotta think about it. The fresh water is very murky, very dark. When the jungle floods, when the rainforest floods, how are they gonna find their food? And now when an Amazon river dolphin is born, they're kind of a bluish gray, and as they mature, they get rosier and rosier pink. Now males are even like a vibrant, bright pink, just like this. Now that vibrant pink might be a way to attract girls. Speaking of attracting girls, chimpanzees, humans, and river dolphins actually present gifts to females. In fact, a river dolphin will grab like a leaf or a stick and they'll slam it against the surface of the water and they're hoping that attracts their female partner. Says, hey look, I got a gift for you. Let's be a boyfriend, girlfriend. And that's how they can continue the existence of the species. Now they are a marine mammal, which means they need to breathe air. And of course these animals have a blowhole. But unlike other dolphins you're used to seeing, instead of a dorsal fin, they have a dorsal ridge. Now why have a dorsal ridge instead of a fin? Well, that dorsal ridge allows them to get tighter and tuck underneath branches that may be submerged. In the environment they have, it's not as vast as the ocean for a bottlenose dolphin. So they gotta be able to maneuver. And they're really good at maneuvering in tight situations. Now, all these things come together into an animal that's just about eight feet long, six to eight feet long, at about 350 to 400 pounds. Now they are the largest of the river dolphins in the Amazon. And a group of friends of mine down in the Amazon are currently working to talk about their population studies and learn how they can help them. So I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Suzanne Smith. Thanks, Clay. Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne Smith. I am the executive director of the Amazon River Dolphin Conservation Foundation, and it is our mission to conserve the endangered Amazon River Dolphin and its environment through research, education, and collaboration. And there are many ways that we go about this. Our two biggest projects right now are a photo identification catalog and population surveys. So with the photo identification catalog, the purpose is to take as many pictures as we can so we can identify individual river dolphins on the Rio Negro of Amazonas, Brazil. With this information, we can tell where the animals are traveling. We can tell who is mingling with who or not mingling as the case may be. We can get a lot of information from that photo ID catalog. And then we are also doing population surveys, which is exactly what it sounds like. We are out counting the Amazon River Dolphins. We started with that species a few years ago, but in addition now, we are also working on the Amazon Gray Dolphin, which is also known as the Tukushi, which is a really cute little dolphin that I think you guys will like. You'll have to check it out. So along with that, we are in constant talks, uh, working on conservation education with the folks from the Riverside communities that we work so closely with. Um, within the past couple of years, we started to collect drone footage and we are also collecting audio recordings. So that's been really cool to decipher um, and has been a lot of fun. 
So we got a lot of things going on. 2020, we were hit really hard, just like everyone else. We were hit pretty hard financially, but also it hindered us from going down and doing our research. Uh, we were not able to conduct our research uh, in 2020. The bulk of our research is done in June, July, and August. Um, and in order to keep our ARDCF team uh, nice and safe and our, our folks down on the Riverside communities in Brazil, in order to keep them safe, we felt that it was best to not go. We wanted to stay home and stay in place like everyone else. We came up with some creative ways to help educate people from around the world about the endangered Amazon River dolphins. Um, but we still need a lot of help. We took a big hit. So I would encourage all of you, uh, all the viewers here, to go to our website at ardcf.org. So your donations certainly help because we can't do it without you. Now, thanks, Suzanne. What's one of your favorite things about the animal? My favorite fun fact about the Amazon River Dolphin. And I've been thinking about it, and the river dolphins are just so cool, it was really hard for me to come up with just one. Probably I would have to say, Clay, that the coolest thing, great fun fact about the Amazon River Dolphin, is that they have an unfused neck vertebrae. They can turn their head completely from side to side. Now, why is that so important? Because these river dolphins swim in the forest. That's right. So when the water level gets really high on the Amazon, the dolphins can swim right into the forest and swim amongst the trees. They swim in and out of those big old trees and they can catch all of the fish that are in their diet. So I think that happens to be one of the coolest fun facts about the Amazon River Dolphins. But there's so much more, so I hope you'll take the time to go learn about them. Clay, thanks for having me. Hope you enjoyed learning all about the Amazon River Dolphins, and I hope to see you one day in Brazil with us. Isn't that terrific? That is an expert in the field right now working with the Amazon River Dolphin. You can learn more by visiting their website right here in the video. Now, as always, folks, please click subscribe to us right here on the wild side to see more fantastic informational videos about creatures from all over the world. And go to the Amazon River Dolphin Conservation Foundation's website and donate. Help them to recover from COVID-19 and help them to recover the Amazon and its dolphin species. Folks, the Amazon's in need of your help. Every hour that ticks by, we lose a football field length of rainforest. Habitat degradation, deforestation, and human hunting has led to the decline of the Amazon River Dolphin. But you can help. Reduce what you use, recycle, and help the wildlife that's all around us every day. Folks, thanks for tuning in to the wild side. We will see you next week. As always, stay wild, conservation rules, and always walk on the wild side of every animal you see. Until then, bye everybody.